Hello folks, so this is 2016, uh, May, June, paper 2-1 and the question number is 6. It is again concerned with uh, chronic electricity. The first question asks us to define the cou coulomb. So the coulomb is actually uh, the SI unit of charge. So since we have charge equal to current into time, the SI unit uh, coulomb should also be equal to the product of uh, the SI units of uh, uh, current and time. So it should be equal to, so one coulomb is equal to Coulomb should be equal to the SI unit of current is ampere, so it is ampere into the SI unit of time is second. So coulomb should be equal to ampere into second. Now, in number B, a resistor X is connected to a cell as shown in figure 6.1. This is the cell. The resistor is a wire of cross sectional area A. So this is the cross sectional area A and length L. This is the length L. The current in the wire is uh, I, this is the current. Show that the average drift speed V of the charge carriers in X is given by the equation V equal to I by NAE. So it's actually the theoretical question from the book or the, from the chapter itself. So one thing that we have to uh, remember here is, first we have to find the volume of this thing. So the volume V should be equal to, volume V should be equal to, uh, a into L, A into L. Now since we know that uh, uh, unit volume, unit volume has, volume has N number of charge carriers, charge carriers, we must have AL volume has NAL number of charge carriers, charge carriers. So, so if there is a, uh, so uh, the charge of the charge of charge of one charge carrier is charge carrier is equal to e. So the charge of n a l charge carriers equal to n a l e, and that's equal to the value of charge. So this should be equal to the value of charge. So this gives us, so therefore, current is equal to Q by T equal to NALE by T equal to NAL by T into E. So this L by T gives us the length of the conductor traveled in any time. So the, it gives the average drift speed. So it is NAVE, which then gives us V equal to I by NAE. So pretty long process actually i try to deal with the whole process in full details now in number c it says a 12 volt battery with negligible inner resistance is connected to two resistors y and z as shown in figure 6.2 6.2 then the resistors are made of resistors are made of wires of the same material so that means this uh, n factor is same for both the wire of Y has a diameter D and length L. The wire of Z has diameter 2D and length twice L. Determine the ratio of the average drift speeds in of the charge carriers in Y and Z. So for this thing, let us first uh, compare their cross sections. So AY should be equal to equal to pi D square by 4. So the cross section of Y should be equal to pi D square by 4. And a z should be equal to pi 2 d whole square by 4. That's equal to 4 times pi d square by 4. So this gives us. Uh, so now, no, no. What I can, what I can do here is. So this gives us uh, the ratio of. So therefore, 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 the ratio of a z by a y should be equal to should be equal to 4 pi d square by 4 divided by pi d square by 4 equal to 4 so i first found the ratio of aj to ay now now the what this question asks is the ratio of drift velocity in y by drift velocity in z is equal to current by n n a y e divided current by n a z e so for y i used y and for z i used z so this is equal to 
equal to all of these things cancel cancel and this AZ goes up so it's equal to AZ by AY which we just discovered that it's equal to 4 is to 1 so therefore the ratio is equal to 4 is to 1 now for resistance what do you have what do you have is so uh, resistance Y is equal to rho L Y by a y a y and this l y is equal to length of y is it's simply l rho l by a y and the resistance of z is equal to rho l z by a z that's equal to that's equal to rho l z is equal to twice l twice l by a z equal to 2 rho l by a z so therefore r y by r z is equal to r equal to rho l by a y divided this r z is equal to 2 rho l by a z again this and this cancel so a z goes up so it is 1 by 2 into a z by a y so 1 by 2 into a z by a y so see my pen is giving me trouble so let me uh, fetch you another pen it doesn't take long time so uh, i have it here so it is a z by a y equal to 1 by 2 into 4 by 1 equal to 2 is to 1 or i can simply say it's 2 as given by the question now determine the pd across uh, across 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 this y so we need to find the pd across this y so from the L equation, what I have is what I have is uh, R Y by sorry R Y by R Y by R Z is equal to two is equal to uh, two. So 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 I must have which gives me R Z is equal to R Y by two. Now the P D across Y should be equal to so I have to find the P D here. So the PD VY should be equal to is uh, we can use the voltage divider, divider formula here. So it is RY divided RY plus RZ and then it is E. That's equal to RY is there. RY is again there. So plus RZ is equal to RY by 2 and then it's equal to 12. So this will be equal to so when we take LCM it is 3 RY by 2. 3 r y by 2 so it will be 2 goes up or i can just do it like this detail process 3 r y by 2 into 12 so r y r y cancel 2 goes up so 2 by 3 into 12 equal to it is 8 volt so its value should be equal to 8 volt here now again another question that remains is power dissipation in y and z so power y by power z should be equal to i square r y by i square r z so since the current through both these resistors is same i'll be using the formula i square r but i'm not using v square by r because i still don't know what the value of v is there in full so i know v here but i don't know v here so simply i can do this so this cancel and this r by r is equal to 2 by 1 so the ratio is equal to 2 is to 1 so this gives the complete answer to this whole question